Hi everyone, welcome to Bloxy. In today's video, we are diving in on how to work with the header builder, more specifically its sticky and transparent states. With a transparent header, you can blend in the look of your pages and it makes for a more seamless transition between the elements on the screen. And with a sticky header, you can have important information such as cart actions always be displayed on screen. One small note here we'd like to make before starting off is that you must have the Bloxy Companion installed and activated in order to use these features. Let's see how we can configure them. First off, let's check out the transparent header options. You will need a few prerequisites before enabling this setting. The transparent header will only work nicely if you have a big hero block at the top of your page, since it will make the content of the page bleed through the background of the header and we wouldn't want any important information to hide behind it. Once you've made sure we meet this requirement, let's go to the customizer to enable the transparent header. Choose header, headers tab, and click on the name of your header. And here is the option. A simple toggle will enable the transparent header. Next up, we take a look at the conditions dialog box. Here we are able to set up the pages we wish the transparent header to be enabled on. By default, the transparent header is enabled to all the pages, but you may wish to adjust that for your case differently. You can also exclude pages from having the transparent header enabled. It comes in really handy if your website has a lot of pages and you wish to only exclude a few from having the transparent header enabled. And let's not forget, you have the device visibility options also letting you choose the devices the transparent header will take effect on. Now, when we take a look at it, the header looks pretty good, letting the background image bleed through the information. Moving on to the sticky header functionality. The settings here are extremely easy to understand. Again, a simple toggle will turn this option on. Next, you are presented with the setting to choose which of the rows you wish to remain visible at all times on screen. The options are pretty self-explanatory here. By default, only the main row is set to remain sticky, and as you can see, the bottom row disappears when the user scrolls down the page. But of course, you have the freedom of choice, and you can change that. Notice that if we switch to the main and bottom row, the bottom row information remains present on screen as well. The sticky effect option will let you choose the kind of animation you wish the header to show when it enters the transition state. And as usual, you have the device visibility options here as well, letting you choose the kinds of devices you wish the sticky functionality to be displayed on. And now you're in for a real treat. It might happen that you wish to make the header a little bit smaller when it is in the sticky position. This is useful in case you don't want to cover up half of your content with the header while the user is checking out your website. We have a few settings that might come in handy for that just here. The first one lets you shrink any of the rows to a specific percentage. Simply click on the row settings button and turn on the sticky state row shrink option. A little slider will let you adjust how much the header will shrink when becoming sticky. That's pretty neat, right? We also have a little option that will let you do the same for your website's logo. A click on the logo element takes us to this option. And again, a simple toggle on the sticky state shrink will turn this feature on. Let's go check it out in the preview window. Looking good. On a side note, almost every header element will have design options available for each header state. So you might want to also check out the design options available for these elements once you've turned on the transparent or sticky settings. Let's look at this a bit in more detail. We can add a little button and configure its states. Notice you can configure the element for each state that the header might be in. This leaves you with endless possibilities when designing your header. And that's pretty much it. We hope this video has helped you in further customizing the look and feel of your website. If you run into any issues or have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via our official support channel at creativethemes.com. Until next time, see you around.